I think I'm making the chill too. Oh, the truck. Yeah, you got it. Good job on the stack, guys. Jeez. Killing it. <clears throat> Pretty. Do, do we go for the same plan, Josh? I think so. It seems to work for you guys, right? You got to like 1,600 and something. Yep. Oh. <clears throat> We're already <laughs> live. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, my voice. <clears throat> I'm a bit sick. Uh, yeah, uh, as I said, I'm a bit sick, uh, so please excuse if my voice gets a bit weird at times. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to do the second part of the uh, abstract intro tutorial series uh, today. Um, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the After Effects part with another project uh, I haven't uploaded yet uh, but this is mainly because uh, let me show you the last the, the render from the intro I made um, and if you have trouble remembering this one uh, I can show you the live stream part where I made it Oh, it's me, haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Two months ago. Great. Um, yeah, I made this intro for about two months ago. And this is what it turned out to be at the end. And uh, I forgot to make the background transparent. Uh, that really annoyed me. So uh, yeah, because if the background isn't transparent, I can't make my custom backgrounds as you see them in here. For example, this one. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna demonstrate it on another project I haven't released yet. Um, but always make sure to uh, let me start a blender for a second to show you what you have to do. Da -da -da -da. Okay, blender is started now. Um, head over to the render settings, then go down to film and press transparent. That's all you have to do. Um, and make sure you have file format set to PNG and color to RGBA, then you can play with color depth and compression and such. I would just uh, suggest you put this all to the maximum for the best possible quali quality and minim most... I can't speak right now. <laughs> uh, and the lowest file size. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And uh, yeah, make sure you make a separate folder for the renders because you don't want like 700 images. Uh, let me show you what I mean. 700 individual images or frames flying around your, in your render folder. I also I also did that once. Um, wasn't funny. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna like yeah, I'm gonna just create a new composition here. Um, yeah, new composition, let's make it version 2, then um, import your render, uh, this is my, why, what, oh, whoops, need to change it a bit now, oh yeah, I forgot to change it back uh, last time, I did it. Um, wait, it was 11 seconds and 30 milliseconds, right? Yeah. Uh, my mother just came in. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's continue. Uh, this is my render, my final render. Um, I rendered it out. Uh, I rendered it out in a kind of special way to save some time. Uh, I could show you what I did. 
Uh, first of all, I rendered the model animation out separately uh, because that's an animation you can't do with a static image. Uh, but for the text, I did like yeah, I did. I rendered out the text and my animation separately, and the uh, model animation. Actually, actually, as you can see, the model is just a still image. Uh, I just rendered the model out in 4K uh, to 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 save render time, um, and it looks actually it looks pretty real. So I can't I can't see a difference. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it's just. For me to save for in the time, but you don't really have to uh, care about this step. <coughs> oh my god, my voice is so... Uh, how do you say that? Quicky? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I just realized... Let me hear. Is my voice better now? Is my voice better now? Is my voice better now? <laughs> okay, yeah, it should be better now, right now. Yeah. <sighs> uh, yeah. Now let's continue with the intro. Um. Actually, then I have to really change something about that and make a new composition backing. Oh. Whoops, I now I have two for two of those. Let's just call it backing two. Great. Uh make a new solid black. Then duplicate it. Rename it grey. Then search for the trap code particular effect and drag it on the grey layer. Um open the effect on emitter. Uh, choose uh, emitter emitter type. Choose box. Then head down to emitter size and check X Y Z individual. Then I don't know. Uh, let's make it to f to five hundred, four five hundred, uh, three five hundred. Great. Then head then open the emission extras tab and make both values a hundred percent. Can close that. Uh, let's make them 500. Yeah. Then open particle tab. Uh, increase the lifetime from three to f about 12. Yeah, 12 should be good. Um, so we can increase the size to well, let's say 45. Yeah, should be enough. Then size random 100%. Then opacity random. 100% then make it some dark gray something dark grayish uh, Okay, let's Let's open this tab up again and decrease the number of particles um, You basically the only thing you ba you're basically doing right here is just Experimenting with different settings and yeah, whatever looks the best <laughs> Yeah, you should just Choose the settings, whatever look the best for you. Uh, don't just copy me 101. Um, yeah. Then, uh, no, we're finished with this layer. Then duplicate it again. By the way, you do that with Control D. Yeah. Head down to random seed and just pull it to a random amount. Then head down to color and select a color. Great. Oh, 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 I forgot something. Uh, you have to decrease velocity to about 20. Otherwise, it will look just really weird. You can leave the rest as it is. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I think we got some visitors. Be right back.
I'm back. Red Deutsch. Ja, dann rede ich halt Deutsch. Mein Gott. <lacht> okay. Uh, yeah, next step you do is you uh, make a Einstellungsebene. Uh, wait, let me just translate that. Adjustment layer, adjustment layer. Create an adjustment layer. Um, Search for motion, <clears throat> motion tile. Uh, put a motion tile effect on the layer, uh, then increase both values to 200. And check this mirror, mirror size. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Then you want to duplicate this layer three times. Um, uh, <clears throat> No, um, just open Photoshop. Great. <laughs> uh, okay, let's close that. <laughs> uh, yeah, back to our project here, then search for um, tur turbu turbulent, I don't know how it's called in English, turbulent, turbulentes versetzen. Yeah, uh, increase the complexity to 10 and then the strength, play with, with the strength strength until it looks something like this and I just forgot uh, I put in the wrong color um something something bluish less bluish yeah it's uh, that's about right um yeah then uh, grab this effect again and apply it to the second adjustment layer do the same again complexity 10 Strength Yeah, that should about do it then grab the Vector blur effect and apply it to the top layer uh, Change the type from natural to directional fading and just increase the amount to about whatever you like. Okay. Let's check how that looks. Um, backing, no. Backing two. Wait, what? What did I just do? What, what? Why am I in? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> okay, as you can see, this doesn't really fit together very well. Uh, so let's go back. And. Particular, let's decrease the particles to about 100. Same as for these. These. Color and make it a bit darker. Let's check again. Does that look better? Like I really want to see how far we can decrease this number. If it just stops existing. How does that look? Not too bad. We can. I can work with that. Uh, yeah, now 
I, oh shit, I totally forgot to show you how I do this. Um, normally when I have a camera animation in Blender, to export it, the, the motion to After Effects, uh, just let me do a simple animation here. Um, let's say I have this animation here. Um, yeah doesn't need to be for let's say I have this camera animation here oops uh, let's say I want to export it uh, first you have to do is to download blender uh, 2.a1 because in 2.8 the add-on you need is not enabled or, or not the blah 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 enable enable <laughs> okay um, so what you want to do is you co copy your camera to the newer version of blender uh, make sure the settings uh, so the settings from the settings here uh, match so same frame rate same resolution and so on then just copy paste uh, your camera into the new scene then you press A to select everything, go over to File, Export. And at first, you first, 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 you have to, let me go to the Preferences, to Add-ons and search for, okay, Add-ons, press Testing, go to Export, then you see, then this uh, add-on should come up, Import, Export, Adobe After Effects dot JSX. Enable it, <clears throat> close it, close this, and then select everything again. Go to File, Export, and then you should have this option. Press this, save it wherever you want. Uh, you should just remember where you saved it because now you head over into After Effects, go to Data or import I don't know what this what this says in the English version um, go to scripts sc run script uh, and then just select your script whatever like mine is Volti right here for this intro uh, I saw sele I'm sele uh, blah, blah, blah. let me just open it then this comes up just call this whatever you want like I always do cam so I always just name it cam then it should show up here yeah right here it is there you have the camera now you can just copy it and paste it in whatever comp composition you want and boom wait but in order to make this work you have to um, make the backing layer 3d and apply a motion tile effect to it because uh, you, we don't want uh, black edges if it turns uh, let me just explain a bit better what I mean transform make it go back so you see it's getting mirrored right here but if I uncheck this effect you see it's just black and we don't want that so always make sure you have motion tile on it yeah then 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 i totally forgot to do something uh head over to the third adjustment layer then search for strudel i don't know how it's called in english um radius yeah it should be good radius just leave it as it is, but play around with the angle. Uh, a bit too much. Let's decrease it. Let's decrease it. Great. Now we have that. Then add a adjustment layer, put it on top. Um, apply the motion. 
Uh, no. No, no, no. We don't need the motion tile effect here. Um, search for looks. Uh, by the way, that's an add-on. You have to install first. Uh, same as the trap code particular. I'm sorry, I didn't mention it earlier. Yeah. Uh, the background, I assume you can do the background with with the other effects uh, that After Effects gives you like CC particle systems too. I just don't know how to use them because they're really complex. Yeah. Go to the looks tab and press edit. Then this window should come up. Um, go to subject, press T for the effects. Uh, first, do we first thing we want to do is shadows and highlights. Wait, let me just go to the end right here. So we have the full view. Come on. Um, yeah, then In just make it look a bit, make the look a bit darker. Increase highlights, yeah. Then let's see what else can we add. Contrast. I love contrast. Uh, here we can add diffusion. Um, <clears throat> just make just play around a bit with these settings until it looks good. Yeah, that sh should be good for the moment. Let's see, is there anything else? Nope. Good. Then go over to lens edge at edge softness. Uh, put decrease the blur size from three percent to one percent and increase the width width. Mm, yeah. Camera two strip process. Shutter streak. Oh, my God. Uh, Size. Oh no, let's screw that. Uh, is there anything else? 
Warm cool, yeah, that's something we can use right here. Uh, I, I think I should use it after. I just realized uh, I should double the gray two layer or basically the color layer. Um, change the seat again, then change the color to something else like pinkish, a, a pinkish red, I guess. Yeah. Then let's head over to the last tab, add mojo, <clears throat> add mojo, add the mojo to effect, uh, play around with this value until you're satisfied. Something is missing. Uh, was it this one? No. Oh. And lastly, chromatic aberration. I always just put top value one and uh, bottom value minus one. Then you get this nice RGB split effect. Uh, Yeah, that should about be it. Oh my god. Uh, let's view it in full. Hmm. 
Okay, we need to get rid of some of the effects. Okay, we're going to kick out this effect. Mojo's gonna need to leave. Um, this one needs to leave too. Uh, I really wanna like. Ah, let's just screw Mojo. Um, this looks much, much better than before. Um, <clears throat> make a new adjustment layer. Oh, oops. Uh, adjustment layer. Then add. Pixel sorter. Ah, uh, no, 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 that comes uh, later. Uh, add optical flare, add some optical flares. Uh, render over original. Options. Motion graphics. Ooh, this one. Color, uh, let's change to something pinkish. Perfect. Um. Keyframe, position X and Y, go to the end and drag it down. Nice. Uh, then add a new solid black on top, put on the jaws effect. Completion, we can already turn that to about 80%. Uh, decrease the height to zero so that we have these nice black bars. Make a new adjustment layer uh, and put on the Pixel sorter effect. Uh, let me just change something in keyframes. No, uh, wrong layer, this one. Optical flares, there it is. Um, Um, 
gonna import a new song. Oops. Come on, where's my music folder? There it is. Da, 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 Holy fuck. Nope. Mm, yeah. Oops. Uh, exit out of here. Uh, exit out of here. Uh, okay, didn't work. Oh, uh, there it is. Drag it into here, then search for the right, then search, search for the drop.
I have an idea. In order to slow, in order to slow.
I just got a good idea. Um, I could do something with that. Hmm.
Okay. Sorry for not saying uh, something for so long. Um, that's been. I just had to try out a few things, and that takes up some time. And I'm really fucking tired. <laughs> so yeah. Um. No way, I'm not gonna make a new composition of this, I'm just gonna show you how I did it. Um, create something named ambient particles, that's just particles flying through space. As you can see, I just put the camera in here and made a black solid where the particular effect is plugged in. Uh, yeah. These are the settings I used. Um, can copy that if you want. Uh, also make sure in the particular settings in physics, air to increase wind speed to uh, on the x axis so they float in a specific direction. Yeah, that's about it. Um, then just let me. Ambient particles, there it is. Uh, yeah. Great, you can barely see them. I see them now like really great uh, then, Yeah, um, add a new black solid, oops, just got a message on Skype. Second. Uh, excuse me for a second. Uh,
Uh, excuse me for the waiting time. <clears throat> I was just uh, busy with some problems with my... Uh, no, no, it's not my Discord server, it's my friend's Discord server, but uh, we had some problems inviting someone. Ha. Okay. No, 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 no! Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Can I these? No, I can't. Fuck. Um. Please tell me autosave was on. Uh. Okay. Please. Please, 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 please. Nu hell utstiden vi er, ja særlig og godt der var det gæld der. Kom on, bitte lade, bitte lade, bitte lade. Åh du scheiße, hvad er jetzt los? Haha, smi, schuldig med. Ja moin. 
Heilige Scheiße, was ist hier los? Huh. Ich dachte gerade. Warte. Das Ende hat er wahrscheinlich ja noch. Ach so, wir waren hier, war ja okay. Deckkraft. So. Gut. War die Patik. Sind schon drauf. Gut. Uh, Backing. Was haben wir hier? Ist der Verzerrungseffekt hier schon drauf? Äh. Warte. Hier. Genau. Sehr gut. Let's go. Endlich schreibt mal wen in den Chat, ey. Und dann 250, gut. Da machen wir mal kurz speichern. Warte, welches... Hat er das jetzt? Ich schließe mal, ich schließe das Projekt noch mal ganz kurz und werde jetzt gucken, ob er das im richtigen gespeichert hat oder ob er das jetzt im Autosave-File gespeichert hat. F in the Chat, ja, oh, halt's Maul. <lacht> Komm schon. Der hat ja gar nichts gespeichert. Fuck. Warte. War das das hier? Ich komme später wieder bei. Okay. Nein. Okay. Stop.
done? Well, I'm almost done. Almost done. In order to solve the furnace. I really like this transition. Okay, um, yeah, that's about it for today. I wish you a happy Christmas. No, I'm joking. Uh, have a nice day. I uh, hope you learned something and goodbye.